Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff, and stuff. She does nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Today, whoa, <laughs> rah, today we have a big Valentine's box that I've been sent from Vetsy. So let's have a look. Oh, I, I've messed up the box. It's got a nice little strap. It's got a strap on. <laughs> um, I messed it up because I was stabbing at the bubble wrap it came in to open it and I've scuffed the box a bit, but it's a lovely box. So don't stab at it because you can use it for something. <gasps> and oh my goodness, first things first, there was Lego. This was me, super excited. <laughs> And I checked the Lego website for their rows. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I will put a clip of me, like a sped up clip of me building it at the end. Maybe. See how I feel. Uh, we also had a little card that said, I love you 3000. Like in um, Endgame. So sad. This. Okay, so we're just going to look through the box at everything and then we'll, we'll do something. Didn't know what this was. Thought, is it a brush holder? Oh, look little whale mini nail lamp and a shell one and a rose one which kind of looks like a vagina um so i was trying to find it on their website just to confirm what it was lovely rose dust brush it was very hard not to just shop while doing this and then i found it it is a brush holder and then we have a 240 240 file 240 is my favorite type of file i have a favorite type of file i'm okay with being that person and then we have um, like a buffer file, which is a much higher grit. And then we have some solid gel polish. That, why is this going quickly? It's not sped up. And this, which is a compact mirror, but I think maybe could be used as a palette as well. If you're a mobile nail tech, how cute would that be? And we have some silicone molds. Well, this is just one. There is another one. We'll use the other one today. That one was little hearts. And we have polish um the we used one of their molds a christmasy one before in a video didn't we and they worked out awesome oh these gems as well are so sparkly that i love their um blingy bits from vetsy i always think they're really good and I, i'm always impressed with the quality little hearts and we'll look at those a bit um closer later so a whole thing of those this is the other mold we've got which we are going to use today and then a bunch of stick there's so much stuff in this box do you remember their christmas box as well their christmas box took me 45 minutes to open and look through um so yeah they they really do cram them pack packed full of stuff um you can get oh these glitters look at this one <gasps> beautiful i get a bit excited sorry um, you can get 20% off at Vetsy with the code MISSJO in all caps. You don't, I don't think you can use the discount on the boxes, but if you don't want the whole box and there's just some items from it you want, you can use it on those or anything else, I believe, on the website. I'll put a link in the description how to get to that where you can use my code um, to get 20% off loads of tiny little embellishments with hearts and flowers and I think there are butterflies in there as well some more solid gel polishes well, they're like you know like sort of buttercreamy type ones a bunch of those and oh yes and they all sort of match with the glitters as well which I thought was a really nice touch and then a bunch of foils one two three four five ten foils so we'll look at those i think we use that one today um the things are, i think what i like about the vetsy boxes are that you could make so many different sets out of all the stuff in there and not really have to lift a finger in doing so you don't need to have any skill i think to make you know to make a set out of all the stuff they have it's all there you know the silicone mold so you don't have to 
learn how to sculpt a flower out of acrylic or something, the foil so you don't have to hand paint anything and I think that's what I'm going to do today, just something that requires no skill. Because as well as that making life easier, oh my goodness I love this foil, I was very close to this being the theme of today's set but it's not. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, th that it makes life easier and quicker, especially if you're working on clients and they want Valentine's theme or something. You've got a billion things here that aren't going to take long. But also if you're doing your own nails, it's always more difficult to paint your left hand. No, your right. Well, for me, it's my left hand because I'm left handed but your right hand. And with everything in this box, there's no issue doing your non-dominant hand because foils, easy peasy, and embellishments, easy peasy. So we're going, oh no, we're not finished. <laughs> there's more. Um, why didn't I use that? This would go really nice with that foil that I said I nearly used. Um, and for some reason, didn't film me opening that. Oh, should I go up and film it? No, I can't remember what it was. Um, and then we have some acrylic paint pens. So I just kind of stabbed at it to get the, the paint to come down to the tip. And look at that. That is super duper easy. Just hold it like a pen because it's a pen, Joseph. Um, that's some great straight lines I drew there. <laughs> but this, um, I did try this and you do obviously need to let it dry, air dry, before you top it. So just beware of that. It's not something that goes in the lamp. Um, and then there's a yellow one as well. Um, oh, I'm getting it all over myself. But I did try it on just a random tip and once it's dried and then you paint over it, that gold especially looked awesome so we're going to chuck everything back in there what was in that pot I don't know it's a mystery you'll have to get the box to find out because I can't remember I did open it though I don't know so we have molds we have gems we have glitters more glitters acrylic paint pens solid cream gels embellishments silicon molds oh my goodness a brush holder some foils a mirror more solid gels files, uh, a little heart thing that you could give someone, and Lego. So let's do something, shall we? Let's. Let's see how much I can remember. I did this a few days ago. So I'm using the Vetsy application brush. These gels, the one on the right there, that's more of the colour it is, but on camera it looks like that. So it's not quite as dark or bright. It's nicer than it appears on camera. It's softer, um, that sort of orangey one. But just going forward, note that it is kind of a more softer coral. So we're using the Vetsy gel brush to pick up some of the solid cream gel polish. And ah, oh, it's so satisfying that I kind of want to dip my finger in it and just swirl it around. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, I'd understand if that's the way the mood took you. <laughs> so that's the gal, that's, yeah, see, it looks like that. But then in some lights it looks like this, which is, anyway. So with this yellowy one, we are putting a very thin coat of base coat down. I'm going to take this, so everything I'm using is from this Valentine's box. So I'm taking that gold glitter and I'm using just the small pieces to make the outline of a heart. And then do I cure that in place now or do we add more? Um, wiggle everything around. You just get the dots on and then you can faff about with them and change the shape. And I think I needed to add some more. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I just don't know. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I have filmed another set since this, so we'll we'll talk about what's happening when it's happening. Until then, no idea. Um, how are you all? You all okay? I hope you're all okay. Um, I do read 
the comments that you leave on the videos and I do appreciate them I know I don't get round to replying to all of them and I, I get you know I'll heart some of them oh this is foil gel using foil gel foil gel just I think I've I think I've got that foil gel fo oh fuck I had it it's gone again foil gel no okay thinking about it I thought about it too much and we're going to cure that and use this foil. I'm going to cut out um, that little daisy because I don't want it. Sorry, little daisy. Or whatever you are, is that a daisy? I don't know. But yeah, I, um, I'll i heart some of the messages. But I don't want you to think if I haven't hearted yours, it's not because... It, I don't want you to think it's because I don't heart it. It's just that I, I just haven't maybe read that one just yet. Um, but I do read them all, so thank you for commenting. Because it helps the videos as well. It helps um, s helps the algorithms. So I'm going to put this foil just above and below the little sequin heart we've got. And press. I hate putting foils on these tips because you can't press hard enough because it pushes it off the little holder. And if I hold it, then it pushes it out my hand. It's just a pain in the bum. And then I used a lint wipe with a bit of um, isopropyl alcohol on it just to wipe off a bit that I didn't want and then we'll add a bit more there so you don't have to use foils exactly how they are on the foil you can cut out bits and put them wherever wherever you like and then I decided to add more stuff in the middle kind of wish I didn't I think I preferred it a bit more plain but if you do want stuff in the middle then you can do this at the same time as doing the first the outline of the heart in sequins so we'll plonk some of the chunkier pieces on and then cure that as well and then we are oh now I'm using top coat but it's a tacky top coat so it leaves a tacky layer it's not a no wipe because I want to double top to seal in the glitter chunks so I've cured that and now I'm using a no white top coat. If you use a no white top coat for the first one, give it a quick buff, just a very light buff before putting this one on, the second one, because it gives it something to grip to. So I've double topped it, but I always like to put gel on a buffed or tacky surface. So that's that one. The next one, we've done a coat of foil gel and um we're going to put some more foil on we're not going to faff around with cutting certain bits out now we're just going to slap it on and rub a dub dub which i think i'll speed up but i always swipe down the center of the nail first so that you know the center is the smoothest possible and then try and sort of push out towards the sides that rose in the top corner had a crease in it so i would lift it up a bit and then try and flatten the crease as I press back down with it to fill in the bit that was creased. <laughs> and now I'm taking base coat, was that? Yes. And I'm going to do a thin layer. You see where I'm applying a lot of pressure with the brush? Um, that's because I'm doing a thin layer. It's almost called dry brushing where you just, I want some on there, but I don't need it to have it's not got any structural or any purpose other than to stick something to so we added some more of the little bits of gold from that gold glitter pot and then I'm just topping that once because those pieces are so small it doesn't need um, double topping so we've just topped that once I think this might be my favorite one cute and what we're we doing now we are mixing some top did I use top coat or base coat either either or um with one of the glitters the gold glitter from that stacker and we're going to oh yes we're going to use the mold I, I never used a mold until until I did with the Christmas set um in December and I was really surprised at how detail these things things come out uh, molds what do you call it once it's come out of the mold we'll just call it the embellishment if you make something in a mold what's it then called when it comes out i suppose what it is the rose 
mixed that together and I'm going to fill in the mold and then we will cure it but I'm using this tool that's like it's got a little scrapey side on it and I'll scrape around the edges here just so that it doesn't have any bits sticking off it when we take it out but if it does you can just nip them off um, with some cuticle nippers or file any bits that are sort of protruding and then we push it out <gasps> oh drop it look how adorable this is i think maybe using the glitter i've lost a bit of the detail from a front on view but from the side still <gasps> so cool and then i did the big one it's too big for a nail but i just wanted to do it oh it's so cute it's so cool and so easy as well but looks awesome and obviously now you can you could mix colors in you could put some gel polish in the mold like blobs of different colors swirl them around to get a kind of rainbowy or depending on maybe not all the colors of the rainbow might be a bit too small to not muddy it but a couple of colors and swirl them around maybe i don't know but possibilities are endless so i figured that was too big for this nail so i'm going to use the smaller one and I'm using the McCart Gem Gel. You can also get money off McCart with the code something something. I'll put it on screen. But a link in the description and that code. And Madame Glam, which I'll also put in the description. There's a whole bunch of links and codes in the description for money off. So always check before you make a purchase. Um, and now I've cured that rose in place yeah so using the glitter i did use lose kind of a bit of detail of the rose but we're, we're powering through and now i've put a thin coat of base coat down and i'm adding some more of the little bits of glitter and we're going to do like a dangly charmy type thing and oh oh this bit's so cool so i've added a straight line as well like as a dangle and then i used the thin strips those little thin strips from the glitter to have dangly bits off the dangly bits and then we're putting a dot on the end and I love this it looks kind of boho I think this would be a cool thing to use for a design in the summer kind of boho theme uh, and now shh, have I I've just been really excited through this video because even though I've clearly seen all this stuff it still excites me <laughs> so that's just there was another look at the gems and we're going to take this gold one which matches perfectly with the glitter and the well both glitters the chunky glitter and the glitter I've used in the rose I think that's I was really impressed with how everything sort of matches everything else in the box you don't need to use anything else and then we're going to top it again these are just thin small bits thin no small bits of glitter so we can top them with one top coat and I'm going to top coat this because I think I did do it with base coat so um, and the glitter I, I just wanted to top it to make it more shiny but I'm not putting a lot of top coat on it because we'll fill in all the little crevices and we don't want to do that we'll lose definition so kind of putting some on there and then just stabbing at it um, with the <laughs> with the top coat brush and that is that one I love the little dangly dangles the dangle has dangles the baby dangles uh calm down calm yourself now we're adding a big blob of the gem gel and we're putting a bigger heart in the center i like that there's different size hearts as well in that crystal set and then some little red ones around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. And wiggling those about a bit and curing it in place. What am I saying? Oh, what, what am I going on? Oh, yes, I topped it, but then decided to make it into a necklace. So ignore the fact that it's been topped. And I think it was buffed before I put the gel on just because I must have done something and not liked it. Um, so... Don't top it before doing this if you do want the little necklace chains. Um, I just used a bit of base coat to stick them down with and then cured 
and then topped where we're topping now. Um, I like this one as well. It looks nicer in real life because it's not as orange in real life. Um, but I, I don't think I pushed those red crystals close enough to the centre heart on the left, top left. But that's fine. It's fine. That's that one. I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, calm down. What are we doing here? Don't know. Foil gel. Yes. And then I'm going to pop these on at the side. Give a rub. If I'm doing a full coverage foil over the whole nail, I will rub down the center again and ease it out to the sides and then get a dry lint-free wipe and rub over the whole nail. But I can't do that here because the empty part is sticky and it would just get fluff all on it. So I was missing a bit at the bottom, but I wasn't worried about that because we're going to put some glitter here, this gold one again. I would have liked to have used all the products in there, but absolutely no way I could design a set using every single product in that box. <laughs> so we're kind of sticking to the same bits. So we're going to put some glitter at the bottom here and then at the top corner. And I'm using base coat again, just a thin, thin layer to stick this on with. Shouldn't be using this gel brush to do it, but it was to hand and now I kind of regret it because trying to get the glitter out of it, not easy. I always assign a certain brush for glitter. So we cured that, just faded it into, faded it didn't do the, faded it in, faded it in to the yellow. And then we are topping and again with top coats and glitters, it's always good to have one that is assigned to glitter so that you don't contaminate. Um, a, contaminate sounds a bit harsh, but so you don't get random bits of glitter pop up in top coating a plain set or something. And then I buffed it to smooth out the glitter and we're going to add some more gem gel and little hearts and crystals, the round ones. The round ones are in three sizes as well in that set and plonk them into the gem gel and wiggle them around and then cure and then we will top and this is the last one I think so I haven't hand painted anything I haven't used my brain <laughs> I haven't had to use my brain it's just been sticking things on be it foil glitter crystals, more glitter. Oh, and the the silicone mould rose. And that's it. I will pause it or freeze it and show you the colour that orange is in real life um, here. Yeah, it's more like that. Let me know what you think of this set. If you like it, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Come say hello in the comments. I appreciate you being here so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.